my fucking god, time for a new vlog! How the fuck are we doing today, my little friends? Today is the glorious day of Friday, which means today we got a very sexy and awesome haircut. Woo! We see we feel so clean! Feel so new and fresh of the mighty and powerful haircut in the sky from the razor blade from Barberland. However, besides getting a very sexy and awesome little haircut today, there is awesome little things to do on RuneScape. Such as going to the Corporal Beast, finding out that the Corporal Beast rapes your titties, and of course just a whole bunch of uh, little activities. So anyways, a club member of mine today actually got a Divine Sigil. Yes, a Divine Sigil, one of the rarest drops on this game to actually get. Even though the Divine Sigil is worth like 44 mil on the GE, it's really not worth 44 mil, it's in actuality worth maybe about 20 mil. So my club member got a 20 mil drop after 40 kills. Yes, I said it. 40 fucking corp kills. This lucky son of a bitch gets the drop. Why can't I be that lucky, goddammit? I mean, seriously. There are people on this game that have killed the Corporal Beast for thousands and thousands upon thousands of times, and they have never gotten a single little drop. I know a lot of people that have missed single drops back in like 2010, 2011 by like lo uh, Loot Share. Then when we went to God Wars, they fucking got everything, mainly because back then a Divine Sigil was worth one bill. So, missing a one bill, well, you know, loot drop, whoo, Obviously, you're going to be getting every little drop on the planet by loot share and shit. Um, anyway, so I want to do a little challenge uh, type little selfie, little thingamajiggy. Should be fairly easy since um, one inventory of the Corporal Beast is giving me about two kills. I mean, two kills is average. The Corporal Beast soloing the Corporal Beast is a little different than soloing Nex or let alone soloing Bandos. Um, it's a little harder to kill. It does a lot more damage, and it can rape you in the asshole many, many times. Um, however, we killed it twice for a little video that I uploaded. Going to be doing some live streaming today of me killing the Corporal Beast. Uh, would like to get to 100 kills, see if I can actually make a profit, and um, see what I can really get. The only lucky, or rather good, like really, really good uncommon drop is either the Bolts, which is 1.6 mil, or uh, the cannonballs, which is 600k. Kind of funny because the cannonballs used to be a 2 mil type drop. Now it's, you know, kind of only 600k. But then again, one kill for 600k of like half an inventory, which you're only using one dose of overload, uh, you're kind of making probably like maybe a 50 to 80k. Well, it's probably going to cost you maybe 50 to 80k per kill since I'm using full um, uh, malevolent. Uh, Terra 90 armor, and of course the Chaotic Spare, Torvik Gloves and Boots. Shit kinda degrades and gets a little expensive in a way, and we don't want things to be too costly on this game. Cause if we lose the money, we're gonna destroy the house, destroy the neighborhood, and blow up my fucking computer! However, in the land of RuneScape, that makes so much sense, well, just on modern day RuneScape and shit. Um, my little friend Adam, I'm not sure if some of you guys know my little friend Adam, or know who he is, took him to God Wars the very first time, uh, about a week and a half ago. Whew! Kinda got anally butt raped, but then again, that's what happens the first time you go to Bandos. You get anally butt raped. <laughs> so anyways, um, my friend Adam has kinda grown up a little bit. Oh my, oh my god! Uh, yes, uh, he actually kinda grew up a little bit. Uh, it's a lot of people on this game are actually growing up. My little Asian friend Swatch and actually has a girlfriend now. Oh my god! What? Are we in backwards land? Yeah! A lot of people are kind of growing up and shit now. So anyways, um, besides people growing up, my friend Adam is the only motherfucker on this game that I know owns full bandos. Bandos helm, chest plate, tassets, gloves, and boots. But cannot wear a Bandos plate body because he never did Dragon Slayer. My little Adam buddy only had five quest points. However, he went to the boot camp at Nightmare RH. The boot camp at Nightmare RH kind of spiffed him in shape a little bit. 
In the boot camp in Nightmare H, I did God Wars with him and explained to him that using a Dragon Chain body is bad. Using a Bando's chest body, he will take less damage and do more damage. So, right now, he completed Dragon Slayer and two great wonderful things can happen. One, I can get my Dragon Chain that I lent that motherfucker back. Two, he can now wear a Bando's plate body that he bought, but he couldn't wear it. <laughs> so today, we'll be talking about quest cape and things that matter on this game. Let's see, firstly, things that matter on this game. Well, GP matters on this game. Because without GP, you really can't buy damage. I hate to say it, but modern day RuneScape and old school RuneScape, even, yes, old school RuneScape, if you have GP, you can do a lot of fucking damage now. I would say probably, most likely, maybe 2006, uh, okay, the actual 2006 of RuneScape, it was all about skills. Even early on the, two, you know, old school servers, when it, before God Wars and before fucking, you know, Armadale Crossbows, AGSs, um, etc, etc. It was all about techniques and it was all about skills. To PK someone, you really had to have Vengeance. And you really had to have Piety. And uh, you really had to know how to manipulate a special time with a DDS. Um, and you also had to have a fucking Abyssal Whip. You know, that's that's was a main essential key to everything. Um, or just, you know, go old-fashioned with a Dragon Scimitar. Ooh, and a little Burpees of a Rune Defender. Excuse my balls. However, it was all about skills and techniques back then. However, nowadays, if you have the GP, you can pretty much buy your damage. I mean, on modern day RuneScape, you don't even need to be a level 138 combat. All you have to do is have all stats to level 90, and you can go ahead and buy tier 90 weapons, tier 90 armor, and, you know, get a whole bunch of good shit, and you're set. You're good. It's wonderful. Things are great for you. However, on old school RuneScape, I mean, it is really still about skills. However, you can also buy your damage as well. You can buy an AGS, one of the most powerful weapons in the game. Probably the powerful spec-type weapon in the game. Yes, the new blowtorch from the goddamn uh, Zura is very, very powerful for, for PKing. However, nothing can truly beat an AGS spec coming out of your asshole. And oh my god, a 65. Oh, we're dead. Woo! So... Besides that, um, let's see, that's one of the things that obviously matters in this game. However, Quest Cape, it does actually have a meaning, it does actually matter. Um, now, a lot of people have told me that there are no requirements to go in fighting the Snake Boss on uh, Old School RuneScape. However, I cease to resist that I don't need 76 agility and I don't need to do Underground Pass. Uh, maybe I do, maybe I don't. I haven't really had the chance to really look into it, nor do I really want to fight the snake boss just yet. I mean, my range is 67. I, I could use a Rune Sebo. However, I don't have the ability to use Kirill or Black D High Bodies. Um, so I'm kind of really shit out of luck. I don't really think I can fucking kill the goddamn thing. Um, nor do I really think, um, I would do an intense amount of damage on the snake little titty. So, therefore, in actuality, I'm really not prepared to go there and get ass raped just yet. Maybe someday, but maybe not. So, um, besides that, yeah. Uh, <laughs> doing quests actually does really matter, because once again, it unlocks certain shit in the game, such as Dragon Slayer. If you haven't done Dragon Slayer, well, something like a Bando's chest body or a Tetsu chest body, you cannot own, or you cannot use, or you cannot, you know, utilize and shit. Uh, not to mention the Elf City, one of the glory place of the gigantic titties on RuneScape. If you don't do Plague's Inn, you can't get into Elf City. Now, I have come to the conclusion that, me personally, probably gonna have to do a lot of quests on this game in order to get what I want and achieve my 2015 Dream Gear item list. Because I would like to buy, I not buy, I would like to get Steadfast Boots from Glaciers as drops. Um, yes, I know, that might seem pretty insane, but I need to do the Ritual of the Marijuana quest, which requires Wild Guthix takes a shit, which requires 270 shitty walk uh, quest points, which requires me uh, live streaming a whole bunch of damn little quests. Kind of really shitty, but it has its value to the game. 
So besides GP on this game, a quest cape, it, ha it holds a lot of value. I would probably most likely say a quest cape is one of the capes out there that still has its true value. Any other cape on this game, I mean, because of bonus EXP, it just, it doesn't hold the value. I mean, when I get my 99 runecrafting cape, congratulations, I got, I got runecrafting through fucking runespan. Oh, I'm such a runecrafter. Oh, I'm a booby. I'm a boob. I'm the boobalicious. You know, I, I didn't do runecrafting like some people did back in like 2007, 8, 9, 10, uh, where they crafted nature runes for about like, let's say two and a half months, and they made a shit ton of money. I never had to do that because I took kind of the rune span easy way out. So there's a lot of capes on this game that really don't have their sentimental value, but a quest cape kind of really does. Now, of course, a max cape and a completionist cape, yeah, but those capes are like little sub-type capes and shit like that. The one cape that has a lot of value is the quest cape because within the quest cape, you can wield every item, you can kill every boss or have the ability to go to every boss or monster that drops shit. You may not have the Slayer level, but you can access them. I have the Slayer level for glaciers. I cannot kill them because I haven't done fucking Ritual of the Marijuanas. So until I do that shit, I really can't do too much of anything. Makes sense to you guys? Oh, it certainly does, Nightmare. Okay, awesome and sexy. So that's pretty much my little lingo of crap. However, like I said, on old school RuneScape, tons of capes matter. I mean, the RuneCrafting cape, of course, holds value. However, having a quest cape, especially now since fighting the boss, um, uh, Zolra of Penis Land, um, it matters more to actually do Underground Pass and to actually have a quest cape and access the little, little elf, you know, pre-city of, you know, per, per DDS or what would... The land of the titties, you know, the elf city of modern day RuneScape. Um, but besides that, yeah, I still say the quest value has value. And uh, by Jagex uh, adding a new boss on the old school that requires you to kind of go to Port Tyrus, it just made the quest cape have even more value, doing quests, you know, per se. Of course, you don't need a quest cape to go there, but it's just another thing to add value to the very old classic cape of wonderfulness. Alright, my little friends, but otherwise, right now I'm gonna be, uh, well, live streaming. Probably gonna upload this video a little later after I finish live stream, so shit. Otherwise, today I'm gonna be doing some Corporal Beast, seeing how many kills and what loot I can actually get from it. Um, yeah, and then do some, uh, old school bandos. Last night I did some, uh, old school bandos runs with my girlfriend. Kinda got a little ass rate, but we're making some changes. Don't you worry. Soon we're gonna be tanking and killing machines, and maybe a 24-hour little Bandos old school live stream in the near future. Yeah, it's, it could very well be well. <laughs> Otherwise, right now I want to go to my email address where it never stops. Um, well, banging uh, out lovely little emails. Ah, nightmarehrhyahoo.com and I treat to me you who's because if you do well. Corporal Beast will eat you up and shit you out for a Taco Bell delicious burrito. First, Hooba Hooba question. Woo! I never watch your videos for a couple years now. I really do enjoy them. Never stop making them. I have a question. You should make a video on how you started playing RuneScape. Like the story of how you started it. I would be very interested to hear that from you. Thank you. Our username, uh, Blake1. Alright, Mr. Blake. I have made actually a video. Um, well, actually, I made a lot of vlogs about it before. Um, however, I'll tell you the lovely story in a nutshell, because I already have a video uploaded of how I started playing RuneScape, but I'll, you know, answer your question, you know, just how it is. Let's see. And the land before titties, and the land before boobies, and the land before I had a lot more pubes on my body. Yeah, it was a while ago. <laughs> Maybe about like, ooh, nine and a half years ago. I want to say the end of 2005. Um, two of my IRL buddies, I had two friends, uh, both their names were Matt, so I had Matt1 and Matt2, they both played RuneScape, and one day, Matt1 asked me to come on RuneScape, because Matt2 was getting to a fairly high level, and I remember that I was over Matt2's house, 
and he was actually buying a red Halloween mask for five mil. Yes, five mil for back in 2005 of RuneScape. Actually, now that I think about it, I can't remember if it was 500k or five mil. I want to say it's five mil, but I might be wrong. It might have been for 500k. Anyways, it doesn't fucking matter. Anyways, he bought a red Halloween mask. From that point, because you looked like a sexy dragon, I was hooked. So, guess what I did? I played RuneScape for about a month straight, and then Matt number one and Matt number two said, Chris, we are quitting RuneScape. I was very depressed, but I continued playing RuneScape, and here I am today. Wah, wah, wah. That is my story in a nutshell. Let me know some nasty dirty little comments. <laughs> If you guys think the quest cape still has value, and let me know if you think my nutshell story was very sexy. Otherwise, I'll see you guys later. Bye!